Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're dropping into Chain of Legends. And it seems to be the time for big updates because they are about to implement something that I think is both going to make the game more interesting but also quite exciting. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so as you can see, we're here in my Chain of Legends account and it's been three weeks, I think, yeah, three weeks since the last time we were in here. Not a whole lot has changed, but let's quickly uh, collect our items. Okay. Also as well, uh, we are going to upgrade our mine today. So basically, our, everything's at level 5 except our iron mine. So we're going to upgrade that. So, uh, upgrade, yeah. So I'm not sure, but that might be one of the quests. Is that a quest? Yeah, there you go. So upgrade your iron mine to level 5. Claim a land, so that's nice. Cool, so let's drop into our lands and see what we've got. Okay, so we just picked up a uncommon cycle 28, so that's going to give us 175 clegg, 175 stone, 175 iron. Now, a lot of people have told me when they claim these lands that they basically just sell them. But I'm just like, when I've looked on the market, it's like, well, you can't, I don't think you can sell it. You can't sell it for any more than 175. But also as well, you're getting the 175 clay, but you're also getting 175 stone and 175 iron, which I think you are essentially losing out on by selling these, um, free lands and at the end of the day they are free so that's ev everything in that listing is 100 percent profit so for me i just hang on to them so also as well i know the was it the last video or it might have been the video before that i'm trying to get this uh i'm trying to get in to the dungeon uh 30 the 32 dungeon and basically like I can I can breeze through the dungeon sixteen absolutely no problem or dungeon level sixteen should I say I can breeze through that absolutely no problem. So I'm trying to get to the point of being able to get through and you know sort of conquer the dungeon level thirty two. Now the great thing with this game, if you enter into a dungeon and you, all your characters are defeated. The great thing is they just go back to your barracks and then they heal. It might take a few days for them to heal, but you don't lose them. So the great thing is, is you can try out these higher level dungeons, see how you get on and think, right, okay, maybe I, d I need to upgrade my characters uh, a little bit. Maybe I just need to get an extra character so they've got a bit more backup. Anyway, uh, we did level 32 a couple of days ago i've not actually watched this so i i'm not really sure how we got on so let's take a look See, these, these guys at the top here, they're level 9. This one's a level 9 down here. He's only a level 7, though.
our guard is about to get taken out. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. I don't. It's these level nine goblins I'm bothered about. Dragons is about to go. Come on, come on. Okay, I'll drag our level. Oh, he's gone. One of the dragons is gone. Oh, it's not looking good. Our warrior's gone now, and our other goblin. It's definitely not looking good. Oh, we lost a mage as well. Oh, man, that was one hit and he took our mage out. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not looking good, is it? No, I don't, I don't think. I think this is game over. Man, she was level four as well. Level four mage, one hit, and gone. Abs just wiped out. Man, but we still gain five XP. And like I say, the thing is with that is you just end up going back to your barracks, sort of re-energizing or building up your health again, and then you can have another go. Obviously. Now I, I've seen that, <coughs> I'll, per, I'll continue with our level 16 dungeon, just uh, claiming that extra Clegg and stuff like that, and then obviously look, for, look to upgrade my characters um, to try and get through that level 32 dungeon. Obviously, it's quite a jump going from level 16 up to level 32, but because really that with the exception of waiting for your characters to sort of get their health back, you've not really lost anything. But it's like I say, it's it's a good thing that you can sort of take a look at and think, right, how close am I? You know, so if we look here, I did actually uh, I didn't mention it, but I from from three weeks ago, I've actually added an extra mage. So obviously we've got these two at level three and this one at level four. I basically need to upgrade these two to level four. And then, um, yeah, and I think like the like we didn't do too bad considering it was it is quite a leap from the levels that, of the dungeon. But yeah, we definitely we definitely need to upgrade our characters. And um, yeah, and hopefully next time in a in a week or so, uh, we can fare a little better. So what's the instant upgrade on that? Three? Oh, I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. Uh, right. Okay. So what is going on? What is going on with this new update to the platform that is coming? And like I say, I actually think it is quite exciting. I think it's really gonna in basically enhance your time on the uh, on the platform uh, as a sort of almost a, an entertaining game. I just think it's going to be fun. So basically, for those of you that have obviously have logged in over the last few days and maybe checked, looked at your um, adventure area, this is the new thing that is coming, the arena. Now, it took a while, but they have now put out a bit of information about this, about how it's going to work. So that is what I found really interesting. Because obviously with the battle that we've just seen, it's essentially completely automated. So each person or each character takes its turn, a bit like chess. Whereas with the new arena, the style is going to change. If we click here, it says here. Arena Battles is coming, development phase. 
What is Arena Battles? It's a new section of the game where players go to online battles in front of each other. 1v1, 2v2, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. A new PvP mode of Chain of Legends. There will be live fights with live actions. A new play style for increasing game excitement. Arena battles are not automated. You see, that's what I find interesting. This time, players should control their troops, move them and attack any hero at their own will and completely new battle style alongside their friends in the battleground. And it says, are you eager enough for this uh, battle mode? So I think that sounds exciting. The only thing there it says where it says uh, alongside their friends. I'm not sure if this is going to be completely guild orientated. So obviously if it's not and we as just regular regular members can go in and play and then obviously hopefully earn some rewards from that would be absolutely brilliant. But yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be guild, just purely guilds. I'm really, really hoping it's not. But like I say, I do think it is something. For me, I, it, it's a, it is a big update. And the fact that, you know, they're bringing that kind of update to their platform. You know, and the platform's now been online for quite a while. It's, I think it's got to be getting close to a year and a half two years maybe getting up to and they're bringing an update that big to it that shows for me that they are really trying to keep pushing this platform forward which then also says to me that's going to draw more players in which is then only going to strengthen the platform which is then in turn actually should increase the price of the coin which is obviously absolutely brilliant and could be really great news for us as members. Okay, so the this up, this post I'm about to show you was uh, posted 9 a.m. I think this morning, or oh, it might have been 8 a.m. this morning. Sorry. So that's the 23rd of May, 8 a.m. This was posted. It says here, Chain of Legends, uh, blah blah blah. Arena Battles is getting developed to beat us soon. A true real-time PvP mode. Who's ready to try a totally free-to-play PvP mode with guilds? So, is that with guilds as in you can play with your guild as well? Or is it just purely guilds? That's still a little bit unclear. It depends on how you read it, I guess. Um... Depends on how you read it. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I really hope it is going to be open to just regular members only and not just guild members. Obviously, I am working my hardest to try and upgrade my barracks to level 7, I think it is, I need to get to, to then create a guild. Once, obviously, I create a guild, I will do a video on it. And I really hope that you guys out there will join my guild and then we can go on adventures together and help each other earn bigger rewards. Okay, so that is pretty much all I wanted to bring to you. So I hope you are as excited as I am. If you can, give a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel, which then helps me make more content to help you. So take care, have a great rest of your week, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.